Okay, so we're nearing the finish line here. Um, and we're gonna stain this bad boy. Uh, so I just got some stain here, you know. This is gonna be a silly tutorial because it's just staining. You could probably look up videos on staining and they will probably be more informative because I don't really have much to say aside from apply it. But it's a part of the process and I'm documenting the whole process, so I gotta document this too. I already shook this up. I got my gloves on. You know, stain. Is messy. Um, I've got some. Let's see, <laughs> I'm already messing up. I got some napkins just in case I mess up. Some paper towels. Um, yeah, no, I don't have anything on me yet. Uh, but you know, just in case you need to quickly dry your hands off because you need to touch something, like you forgot to take off the sheet, right? Which I did. You might want to have a, a paper towel around so you can. Um, just quickly even dry off your gloves here. So I'm going to actually start up at the top and I'm going to be really, really light with it. Just using a corner of it, this brush here and this doesn't even fit in there. It's okay because a little stain goes a long way. Getting off the little bit that's gonna drip because just know it's gonna happen. Actually, you know what? See, this is a lesson in humility here. I am not gonna do the top, I'm gonna do the top once it's in the rack. Look at that. Thinking on your feet. Anyway, just gonna start applying here. I like um, paying attention to spots that are harder to see at first and working on those. It's like obviously this knob is like a difficult place for me to really make sure I'm doing a good job. So I can start here because if I needed to like grab the handle and look at it in a different way, I could. Everything seems to be going okay though. I'm so sorry that this is going to be like a however long this video is on me staining a handle. If you're watching, I guess it's your choice. You probably don't care. Uh, probably interested, so let's do it. Let's finish this job. The one thing that is annoying as heck about this is holding it. Holding it sucks. Um, especially like a bigger axe handle like this thing, man. Or person it is not, not fun on your wrist after like five minutes or whatever. So that's how come I'm holding it up. So it's actually like, sitting in my hand. I'm not like holding it out and using my wrist for leverage. It's looking great already. Really want to make sure that that tight corner is done. There's so many different little like angles on the knob that you really just got to make sure that you can pay attention to it all. That looks good. And then we can just cruise right along. I'm trying not to like, I'm trying not to stain my bench. It smells like my dad's print shop when I was a kid. Hi, Dad.
just, you know, the, the only real key thing here is just to make sure that it's not like uneven, that's all. And even that isn't that big of a deal. Okay. Looks good. All right, time to put in the rack. Hopefully it doesn't break the rack. This is so big. Yeah, that's, I haven't talked about the accent at all, but it's a, it's a Collins Legitimus. It's one of the South American models. Um, it's four pounds. The axide's four pounds. And it is officially stained. So there you go. Um, gonna let that dry. And uh, going to apply some coats of linseed oil on that thing. And then some beeswax. And then we're gonna burnish it. And then it will be done. So thank you for joining me on that one. Uh, I'm sure I'm just going to jump right into the uh, Lindsay oil and stuff, but I'll fast forward that. Uh, anyway, thanks. Okay, so it's time to wax and burnish the handle. So I just got this chunk of beeswax here, and then I've got these two random pieces of metal. This one's round, this one's rounded but flat to burnish the handle. And let's just get started. It's really about pressure and heat. pressure and speed, I mean to say, because if you do it really fast, you kind of melt the beeswax a little. And even though this thing's already sanded, the idea is you're taking the end grain, anything that's slightly rough, and you're knocking it down, you're smoothing it out. And anything that is end grain is gonna have wax shoved into it as you pass over it with the beeswax. And this is a thing that I suggest people do just normally with their tools. Anything that's got a wooden handle um, as they're using it every now and then just give it another rub down with a hunk of beeswax. Close up that grain.
on the flat, the tangential spots, I use this flat piece here. And it's really, like I was saying, you're not necessarily going to see much effect, but you do this over and over again, and it will really start to show over time. It almost is like a, it'll make the handle look like it's got like a lacquer on it just from the sweat of your hands and burnish, like burnishing it with the sweat of your hands while you're using the tool, but also this is basically inducing that process. Be careful as you slide up. If you don't have a sheath on, you could slip off and cut yourself, so just be careful. You notice I actually wind up accumulating some beeswax from doing this. That's okay, it's, you're scraping it off, but you're pushing some into the end grain. And it's really about just knocking that, the like rougher spots down. You'll notice any spot where there's radial ends, like, you know, just a ton of open grain, it really eats up the, the wax. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it. The other side. Okay, then you focus a lot of energy on the top and the bottom.
And there you go. That is it. Uh, it's waxed and sealed. Uh, you know, like I was saying before, you can just keep applying coats of this and it just keeps working in the wood and it keeps burnishing the wood. And over time you get something that looks like it's lacquered, but it's not. And therefore the oil is, it's just better. The oil is better on your, on your calluses and such. Um, than the lacquer is and it'll keep moisture out it'll keep the oil in and yeah that is it so that is a finished job every now and then you know with with my own axes i actually like hit them with a buffing wheel to push in that beeswax but it makes it really dirty looking so um so if people don't want it to look that dirty, then I don't do that. But here it is. Looks good. I'm pleased. And I'm going to box it up and ship it out. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching the, the whole thing. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.